Hi, LPS can score 92 heal of a known as sassy cat. And I'm so excited to do this how to video. And so I hope you can do this at home. And so let's begin. First you will need a really small bowl for, for the brushes right here and you, it's for cleaning them and here are the brushes. You will need one big brush and one really small narrow brush. And, of course, you will need paint. I, I have two browns because one is a little out of paint. This is this one, and this is full, but I don't know how it will work as a footboard. Uh, I mean, on a plastic footboard. And I, and you will need white, of course, for the detail. And so let's begin. First, I'm going to open off these paints. This I'm trying to do with one hand. It's really not easy. I'll just, I'll just take, I'll just, you, I'll just put this down. And so the paints are open. Now it's time to use the really big brush and dip it in here. This is kind of hard to do. Actually, I think I got some on my paintbrush already. It's kind of hard to see. Next, I'm going to paint this thing, of course. With one hand, this is kind of hard to do. Actually, might as well do it with two hands. This is what it's going to look like. Unfortunately, you have to do like about two or three coats of paint. This isn't that hard. And next, I'm going to put this brown on just to see what it looks like. Okay, so I got this on the paintbrush and it looks kind of good, I think. I mean, I think it's the perfect color for a footboard. I'm not sure. Next, we're going to let this Door footboard dry for about 10 minutes. And so the timer is done. Now it's time to paint the second coat. This is how it looks. And yes, it's a tiny bit wet. I thought 10 minutes would be enough, but apparently it has to be 5 more minutes now. So set the timer on the oven, your oven, or whatever you're using to paint this and for five minutes. 
So I turned the timer off and so now it's time to paint the second coat. Okay, here it is and it's dry. And so now it's time to paint the second coat on this mini footboard. I'm going to use this brush again, but this time put it in the water. That way it doesn't have too much paint on it. So now I'm going to dip this in again, and also please don't mind the background noises, just, just ignore them. Okay, here's the paint I have now, and so I'm going to paint over the first coat like this but it's better if you use two hands so i'm going to do that now okay now that i painted the second coat it's time to paint the third this time i'm putting it on for 20 because the last time it wasn't it wasn't dry enough for some reason. And so that should do it. And so the time was done now. And so let's begin painting the third coat. And this is what my footboard looks like so far. It's not brown, I mean or brown yet. And so as you can see, I painted this mini footboard, which is, a, which is actually a silly party container. I painted it tan. Actually, it says golden brown, but to me, it's a tan. Anyway, I have to let this dry for another 20 minutes. And so it has been 20 minutes, and so I will now turn this off. And for some reason, it still hasn't dried, so I will put this on for like maybe 30 minutes. Okay, I meant 30 minutes, not maybe, so I'm go, so we're going to put this on again for 30 minutes. By the way, it's hard to estimate, I mean it's hard to know for sure. And so now it's done, and so let's go back to the closet. Okay, it is pretty dry. The bottom isn't dry, so I will just leave it to dry on the bottom. I mean in the newspaper itself. Uh, right now I'm going to paint the top with this white paint, of course. Okay, now since that the footboard is dried, let's begin painting the white, I mean the details white. Okay, so 
It's the, as you can see, it's dry now, really dried, and so I'm going to dab paint, white paint on this, on this narrow small paint brush. Okay, when you get it open, just put it in there and take some off of your brush by by leaning it on the the paint container. I think it's called a paint container. And now for the hard part. Well, it's not hard, but it's hard if you're using one hand. So I'm going to put this video camera down. And so, as you can tell, it's not perfect, but that's okay, because you can paint brown over where it's not perfect, meaning the, meaning like the sides. And I, and I painted one diagonal like strike thing and I will do three more because I, well I was planning on doing four but I don't think I can as you can tell it looks more like a football now I uh, I all I need to do is get rid of the of the longer line in on the bottom and that's basically it. If you don't like the way it looks, meaning if you don't think it's perfect, you can always retouch it up. And so there you have it. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to me and I will respond ASAP. Also, if you decide to make this project, please send me pictures to my Facebook page, which is LPS Kinscore 92. And uh, if you don't have a Facebook, please send me thumbs through your Google Plus account. If you don't have a Google Plus account, then Please use email if you don't have an email with I'm sore or if you guys have one. I hope so. Anyway, if you don't have an email, please Instagram me them. And my email is lpskinscore92 at gmail.com. And it's all lowercase, so bye.